a very good morning to all the student this video for the class 7th subject science chapter number 10 that is respiration in organisms this is your lecture number 1 so in today's uh, video lecture we are going to cover some topics of this chapter number 10 so the first topic is we are going to cover some activities here that is activity 10.1 activity 10.2 activity 10.4 and 5 and 6 second topic is what is respiration third one is why do we respire the fourth topic is types of respiration and at last we have the anaerobic respiration in human beings so let us begin this lecture with the first topic that is activity 10.1 so in activity 10.1 is you have to close your nostrils and mouth tightly and look at the watch then what did you feel after some time and how long were you able to keep both of them closed so you have to note down the time for which you could hold your breath firstly you have to close your nostril and mouth tightly and look at the watch then you feel after some time and you uh, how long you were able to keep both of them closed okay so you have to note the time for which you could hold your breath okay moving on the second activity activity 10.2 so the aim of this activity is to observe the breathing rate under the different condition the procedure is firstly count the number of breath per minute before the walking after brisk of walking for the 10 minutes after running for 10 minutes or after rest so you have to count the number of breath per minute before walking after brisk walking for the 10 minute and after running for the 10 minute or after rest as you can see in this picture these are the activity you have to perform and count the number of the breath per minute okay then you have to make this table the name of the classmate or you can uh, take the name of the family member from your family and after that count the breathing rate at the normal phase after a brisk walk for the 10 minute after running and at rest okay the change in the breathing rate under the different condition you have to note it down okay and second thing is uh, can you say in which activity the rate of breathing will be the slowest and in which it will be the fastest okay moving on the second activity that is activity 10.4 the aim of this activity is to study the change in the chest cavity during the breathing so the procedure of this activity is measure the chest size with a measuring tape during the full inhalation and then after the exhalation and record the observation as you can see in this picture a student is measuring the chest size during the inhalation and then after exhalation okay you have to record the observation of inhalation and the exhalation and change in the chest cavity during the breathing rate moving on the next activity is activity 10.5 the aim of this activity is to prepare a model and demonstrate the mechanism of breathing So the procedure is take a white plastic bottle remove its base and tie the thin flexible rubber sheet at its place next take the y shaped plastic tube and fix the two deflated balloons at the two end of the y and fix it into the mouth of bottle after that this is the picture of this activity so what you have to do firstly you have to take the these clean white plastic bottle okay remove the bottle and get a y shaped glass or the plastic tube okay then make a hole in the lid so that the tube may pass through it after that now cap the bottle and seal it to make it all air tight to the open base of the bottle tie a thin rubber or the plastic sheet using a large rubber band so in this activity you have to understand the expansion of the lungs pull the rubber sheet from the base 
pull the rubber sheet from the base okay downward and watch the balloon so next push the rubber plastic sheet up and observe the balloon so did you see any change in the balloon and what do the balloon in this model represent okay and what does the rubber sheet represent you have to explain the mechanism of breathing here moving on the next activity the last activity is activity 6 10.6 so the aim of this activity is to identify the gas that we breathe out and the procedure of this activity is take a freshly prepared lime water in a test tube it can be prepared by dissolving the calcium hydroxide in water as you can see in this picture firstly you have to take the freshly prepared lime water in test tube okay and put a plastic straw into it into this test tube then is there a change in the appearance of lime water can you explain this change on the basis of what you have learnt in chapter number 6 in physical and chemical changes about the calcium hydroxide activity okay moving on the next topic that is respiration what do you mean by the term respiration so respiration is the process of releasing energy by breaking down of food in the cell this is the respiration respiration takes place in a cell organelles called as mitochondria in the cytoplasm that is present in the cytoplasm or we can see that uh, we have already learned that the all the living things are made up of the cell and the cell perform a number of function like nutrition transport secreting chemicals so here to perform all these functions a cell needs energy so cell gets its energy by breaking down the food that is present in it so this is the process of releasing the energy by breaking down of food in the cell is called as respiration so for respiration the oxygen that is needed is taken in by breathing process okay in the respiration process the release of energy during the cellular respiration here glucose reacts with oxygen it releases some energy and the carbon dioxide and water is formed glucose is just like a food that you are taking okay in the presence of oxygen it break down this food is get break down and releases some energy that is respiration okay and this respiration is a complex process which involved taking in of oxygen and using it to breaking down that food to release this energy and during this process the carbon dioxide is released as a waste product okay so this carbon dioxide is eliminated from the cell from this we understand the breathing is a part of respiration okay respiration and breathing is a different thing respiration is the releasing of energy by breaking down of food in the cell okay next is why do we respire we respire to get the energy first one the cell can perform this function only if they get the energy to do so second is hence all the living organism need food which gives them the required energy and we need energy for all the activities like eating talking thinking moving standing etc even when we are sleeping our vital organelles organs like the heart kidney and brain and lungs keep working and the variation function of the body like the digestion respiration and circulation keep the taking please so this energy needed for all these process is supplied by the respiration so during the respiration food is broken down and the cells and energy is released generally glucose is the main 
food that is broken down that's why we respire okay moving on the next topic is types of respiration they are the two type of respiration first is the aerobic respiration second is anaerobic respiration here the aerobic respiration it is a type of cellular respiration that takes place in the presence of oxygen to produce the energy it is a continuous process that takes place within the cell of animals and plants so firstly aerobic respiration is when the breakdown of food occurs with the use of oxygen is called aerobic respiration okay this is the equation of aerobic respiration and one more thing the organism are called as aerobes okay during the aerobic respiration this glucose is completely broke down to the carbon dioxide okay the c6h12o6 completely break down into the carbon dioxide 6 co2 okay and water and a large amount of energy is also released firstly during the aerobic respiration this glucose is completely broken down to the carbon dioxide and water and the large amount of energy is released and it occurs in most organisms like insect worms fish frogs birds human beings and all the animal that we see this is it about the aerobic respiration next is the anaerobic respiration so in anaerobic respiration it is a type of cellular respiration that takes place in the absence of oxygen to produce the energy okay when the breakdown of food occurs without the use of oxygen it is called as anaerobic respiration and the organisms are called as anaerobes okay this is the equation of anaerobic respiration here during the anaerobic respiration there is a incomplete or the partial breakdown of glucose this glucose is partial breakdown okay and much energy is released there is a less energy is released in this anaerobic respiration in yeast and plants glucose is broke down into alcohol that is c2h5oh okay but in animals this glucose is broken down into lactic acid only in animals okay in yeast and plants this glucose without any oxygen breaking down into the alcohol plus carbon dioxide and there is a less energy is released next is the difference between the aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration aerobic respiration occur in the presence of oxygen anaerobic respiration occur in the absence of oxygen in aerobic respiration glucose is completely oxidized okay glucose is completely broken down to the carbon dioxide and water but in anaerobic respiration glucose is broke down incompletely okay it incompletely partially breaking down of glucose and there is less energy is released in anaerobic respiration in aerobic respiration the end products are carbon dioxide and water in anaerobic respiration end product are either alcohol and the carbon dioxide in human being it's lactic acid in aerobic respiration there is a more energy is produced but in anaerobic respiration a very little energy is produced aerobic respiration occurs in most of the plants and animals anaerobic respiration occurs in few organism like yeast some bacteria some parasitic worms and in humans okay next is about the anaerobic respiration in human beings sometime muscles of human beings can respire without oxygen 
so this generally happens when we undergo a heavily exercise such as running weight lifting cycling or the walking for a longer duration of the time or in such situation the muscles require more energy and the supply of oxygen is not enough so hence the anaerobic respiration takes place in the muscle as you can see in this picture here in anaerobic respiration in human being during the heavily exercise running and gymnastic our muscles start aching because they start respiring the anaerobically okay because as the demand for oxygen become much more than so what is supplied by the respiration so as a result a temporary deficiency of oxygen occurs in the muscles to meet that demand of the body muscles the cell start respiring anaerobically in the absence of oxygen okay so in the absence of oxygen this glucose break down partially and to form lactic acid and release some energy so the energy produced helps in the activity being done and lactic acid start accumulating in the muscles okay so this accumulation of lactic acid cause muscle ache and cramps in your muscles okay so these muscle cramps can be relieved by providing hot water fermentation or uh, massaging that area because they increase the circulation of blood okay increasing of circulation of blood means increasing the supply of oxygen that help in breaking down of lactic acid into the carbon dioxide okay this is it about the anaerobic respiration in human beings next is the homework part of this lecture so the first question is what is respiration second is types of respiration third is anaerobic respiration in human beings okay this is it about this today's lecture hope you have understood this lecture thank you and have a nice day